Discover Todd. Well, here we are, two hours of super polka music. After taping his weekly polka show, so here we go, Sunday afternoon. Tom Kutza would love to tell you about the classic recording he's most proud of. Good stuff. One that, for some reason, hasn't been heard in nearly 50 years. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. It's a recording with Stanley Kovaleski, a spitballing, strike-throwing, legendary pitcher honored by his hometown of Shimokin in 1969. This tape recorded. When a young radio reporter from WISL-AM named Tom Kutza... Um, I was thrown into the job of interviewing him. ...was assigned to interview this new Hall of Famer. <laughs> Mr. Kowaleski, let's go back to uh, many years ago... It's an interview the world is now hearing parts of for the first time, since it originally aired nearly a half century ago. Well, I'm glad to come back here again. Because a lot of memories come back to me. He, he just seemed like a genuine human being that I, at the age of 27, I guess, would call my grandpap. Kovaleski was 79 then, and with his heavy accent... The toughest pitcher we ever had a hitting. He, he said, mentions how Babe Ruth once called him the toughest pitcher he'd ever faced. Why playing in Lancaster helped Stan reach the majors in 1912. You know, I was never out of Shemokin before. I was never on a train in my life. And there's more cool stories about the coal region, all gold. Oh, this is amazing. If you ask Frank Treese, now the co-owner of WISL, who also works at CBS 21. What makes it amazing is that it was just a conversation? Yes, it's a, just a, a realistic conversation with two average guys that are one guy just happened to be extraordinary. More like monumental. This is how Stanley Kovaleski is remembered in Shimokin. The thrill of it all is the simple fact that I, I interviewed him. How many interviews are out there left? Did you ever have uh, much trouble? So why are we only now hearing this piece of baseball history after all these years? This town, I owe so much to because... Well, Tom forgot the original recording was in his basement, where friends from the radio station found it. I know you'll always be an inspiration uh, to the young boys in the Shemokin and Coal Township area. How do you know you found a great interview? Oh, he, no one does it better. As Tom proves, it reels you in, no matter how long it's been. In Northumberland County, Jason Bristol, CBS 21 News. Listeners, listeners today from uh, France. We have listeners today from Pottstown, from Levittown, and uh, many others. We'll tell you about that later.